Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about system data and how to reduce system data on your iPhone. Now, for years, iOS has been plagued with a weird bug that allows system data to sort of take a large portion of the physical storage of your iPhone. And if you're among the users suffering with a large size of system data on your device, I'm going to show you how to reduce the system data on your iPhone. I went from 159 as low as five gigs on most of my devices and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing you should do is remove any unwanted application from your device. Now, when you first buy your iPhone, there's a bunch of Apple pre-installed applications. If you have a folder that looks like this, where you have Apple apps that you don't use, the first thing you wanna do to reduce system data is remove these apps from your iPhone. So for example, if I don't use the Books app, of course, you want to make sure you delete the books application from your device. This will instantly remove and reduce that system data from your iPhone. And any Apple app that's been pre-installed by Apple, you can remove it directly from your device. That should be the first thing to do in order to reduce that system data file. Now, another thing you may want to do is remove apps that have been installed on your iPhone for over a year. Now, typically, this would be social media apps, for example. So let's head on over into settings here. Let's head on over into general iPhone storage and take a look at social media. So right there, Instagram has approximately close to five gigs, so 4.63 gigs of data. We also have X with 2.36. So if you remove temporarily Instagram and reinstall it, that will help clear the cache in the history for that application and you can start fresh. And this will also reduce that system data file size, okay? So just keep in mind that if you have an iPhone for more than two years and you have your social media apps installed, take a look at that section there and settings under iPhone storage, whichever has taken the most storage, make sure you remove the app and then reinstall it and this will clear out some of that memory. Now next you wanna take a look at messages. Now messages on the iPhone is probably the number one used application and a lot of users forget about this. There's a few options you should look into. Number one, jump directly into messages, tap on the top left where it says edit and then select show recently deleted. Right here you'll find a bunch of old conversations and messages that you've deleted in the past that are still linked taking up storage and system data. What you want to do is, of course, delete all the old messages that you've already deleted. Now, another thing you want to look into with messages is under settings here. You want to jump into messages right here, and then you want to scroll down until you find right here the keep messages. Now, by default, the forever option is enabled. This means that every message will be kept forever. Now, if you change that to a year or 30 days, that means that any conversation a year or older will be automatically deleted from your device, or if you select 30 days, obviously it will delete any conversation that's older than 30 days, therefore improving the storage on your iPhone and the system data as well. Now, last but not least, I recommend you take a look at Safari on settings here. So jump into settings, find the Safari extension, right there it is. And then inside of Safari, you wanna make sure that you scroll down and select clear history and web data. Now make sure that you select all history right here. Keep in mind, this will close out all your tabs. So if you have tabs open, just keep that in mind. And once you clear that history on your Safari web browser, this will also clear out some of that cache and free up some of that storage and some of that system data as well. Now, once you're done doing all these steps, I recommend you power off your iPhone and and reboot your device and hopefully once you reboot your device you'll be left with less system data on your iPhone with approximately less than 10 gigs if you are up in 50s or 60s this should drop it to at least 10 or less thank you for watching this quick video hope this helps and I'll see you guys on the next one peace